Hi, welcome to another lab cast. In this edition, I will be demonstrating the dissection of a pig roundworm, also known as Ascaris. This is a roundworm parasite that affects uh, pig and humans and uh, is found in the intestinal tract. In order to do this dissection, you'll need three pieces of equipment. You'll need a dissection kit with scalpel, probe, um, and scissors. You'll need a pair of rubber gloves and you'll need a dissection pan. All right, let's get started. Here you can see two uh, ascaris in my dissection pan. And the first thing you want to do after you receive your specimen is determine whether you have a male or a female specimen. And this is very easy to do. There are two characteristics that you're going to be looking for. First of all, the female is typically uh, a lot larger than the male. And you can see that this one here is much larger than this one over here. The most telling characteristic, however, is that the males have a hooked posterior end. And this one right here, you can see, has a hook on the end. Um, and this is a, a reproductive feature. So I know that I have a, a male over here and a female over here. And then depending on the gender that you have, you will follow the guides, the guidelines, um, and look for the structures in that, um, that species. Let's go ahead and um, look at the male for today. I'm going to um, put him in the center of my tray and go ahead and pin it down to the dissection pan. This makes cutting a little bit easier, um, a little easier to work with. This is a very simple dissection because Ascaris is a very simple organism. All we're going to do is make an incision down the ascaris, open it. I don't want to cut too deep and um, cut through the internal organs, so I'm just going to make a shallow incision right along the uh, dorsal side. Once I do that, I'm going to take some more pins and I'm going to begin pinning open the outer covering of the ascaris. And when I do this, I'm going to slant my pins towards the outside so that I still have access to the center of the body cavity. I'm going to use my probe to finish separating any of the um, ascaris that hasn't completely been opened by the scalpel. And as I do this, you begin to see the internal structure of the ascaris. The ascaris is very simple. It lives in the digestive system of the host which in this case would be um, pigs or humans. Ascaris infections are uh, relatively harmless, although a little bit disgusting. Um, you contract ascaris by consuming eggs, um, which are in contaminated food or water. Ascaris infections are extremely uncommon in the United States, but rather common in third world countries such as Africa and in South America. I'm very fortunate to have excellent sanitary conditions in the United States, uh, which gives us clean food and clean drinking water. Ascar infections are very easy to prevent and very easy to treat. They rarely cause serious problems for the person who is infected. Well, I've got my specimen open here. Zoom in so you can see. As I said, the ascaris is very simple. The only structures that you'll be able to identify here are a very large reproductive system and a very simple digestive system. The ascaris does not have a nervous system or a circulatory system. The String-like structures that you see spread throughout um, the posterior end are the sperm ducts. The ascaris is a very prolific 
reproducer. The um, tube that you see up at the anterior end up here is the digestive tract, the gut. However, the ascaris does not need to digest its food because it lives in the intestines of a host. The food is already digested, so it simply opens its mouth and then it absorbs the nutrients um, from the host. If we go down further, looking at the reproductive system, this is at the uh, very end, the um, posterior end. We'll see the seminal vesicle where um, sperm are stored and eventually released. One other thing that you can see is a very thin, faint line. There are two of them on either side of the gut. These are the lateral lines, which allow the ascaris to contract and move. So that's about it for the ascaris. In my next lab cast, I'll be demonstrating the dissection of the earthworm, which is quite a bit more complex than the ascaris. So I encourage you to tune in there, and we will compare these two organisms.